you are concerned about rising energy bills, but you don't want to freeze in your home and turn that thermostat really down. Can smart home gadgets actually save you money? After a lot of research, I created an energy saving calculator that I'm going to actually show you in this video how automations in your smart home can actually save money directly in your pocket. I looked at a paper by the Cambridge Architectural Research backed by the UK Department of Energy. So forget about these weird estimates on brands' websites. The paper is actually called How Much Energy Could Be Saved by Making Small Adjustments to Everyday Households, right? So let's look at the number one cause. By looking at this, the number one thing we can actually do is turn the thermostat down by two degrees from 20 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius. Obviously for you guys in America, you could convert that to Fahrenheit. And that's gonna give us a saving of 3,090 kilowatt per hour over a year. What about motion sensors and lights? Look at number 13. It's actually only gonna save us 100 kilowatt per hour over a year compared to 3,090. What about if you wanna get a smart plug and put it behind your television and to save some money? And if you look at it, look, that's ranking number 19 with just 49 kilowatt per hour per year. And this is what I thought was gonna save also energy, installing sensors in the hallway that use to turn lights on and off. I thought that would be sensible, but that's only ranking number 31. It's only gonna save you 13 kilowatt per hour per year, which is basically nothing. Let's jump into the calculator and let's put these kilowatt per hours into actually British pounds and then you can convert these to dollars. The thing you're going to need to do now is look at your energy bills and find out your unit per how much does it actually cost you per kilowatt hour. My cost of gas, you can see it over here, is actually three pence and 86. That's barely four P. So that is the cost for one unit or kilowatt hour that I actually use in my home. So you remember that we were talking about 3000 kilowatt hours in terms of the saving from the paper. Now that's two degrees drop. Now if I want to contextualize that, it's just one degree, so we can use that to calculate it, that would equate for 2,365 kilowatt per hour. How did I actually calculate that? Now the model assumes a few things. It actually assumes that your total square meters, so how big your house is, is around 96.4 square meters. So if you know your square meters or your square foot, you can actually convert that. In my example, my home is 149 square meters, so I can actually uh, ramp that up. In this section of the calculator, you'll find all of the inputs. The model basically assumes nine hours of heating during weekdays, and it assumes 16 hours during weekends. Now, feel free to adjust this as you want. I just actually have some formulas around here to actually calculate how many hours of heating we will have during the year. In the United Kingdom, we have an assumption that we're gonna have at least the heating on for at least eight months during the year. Obviously some months it will be more on and some less. So this is more of an average to keep it a little bit simple. Now, if you're in, in a hot country and you're not really interested in heating, you could just apply the same thing for cooling, right? So if you know how many months per year you're cooling your home, and you know how much it actually costs and what's your energy bill, you can sort of reuse this calculator. So you can save money with heating in two ways. You can either use a thermostat or a smart thermostat, or you can use radiator valves. Now, the smart part of these actually makes it easier for them for you to control them. So you might forget the thermostat or you might forget to control radiator valves. Now, radiator valves basically shut rooms off. Um, think about this like multi-room uh, temperature system. So let's calculate how much money I can actually save by installing a smart thermostatic valve in one of these rooms. Now I've picked the three biggest rooms in the house, the kitchen, the living room, and the master bedroom. And roughly I've got the square meters of these rooms and I've got these as a percentage of my total square meter over here. So I know that the kitchen is around 20%, okay? Living room is 17%. So I'm also calculating how much money to actually save per degree drop per hour. So you can see I've got savings with automations in this part of the calculator. So let's say well, we want to drop the bedroom temperature down by actually four degrees for nine hours. So let's say that our total heating hours are 12 hours, heating or cooling, right? Think about it 
both ways. So let's say that in the bedroom, once we have our breakfast, we sort of know that we have finished with the bedroom or once we've finished our shower, whatever the moment in time it is that and we don't need to use our bedrooms. And most of the time, we're not gonna use them until the evening when we gotta to go to bed, okay? So I'm allowing actually three hours of heating in the bedroom. So maybe one hour during the day to warm it up a bit and then a couple of hours towards the evening just before we get into bed or we get changed and you know whatever you do in the bedroom. Now this will give me a saving of 20 pence per actual day. And if we go through a whole uh, heating season, that would actually allow me to save 51 pounds. So a TRV, as far as I know, could be around 50 to 60 pounds to purchase. So it'll take you over a year, at least one whole heating season to get the money back from that um, sensor if you are using these sort of type of automations. If you obviously just buy the sensor and just set it to 20 degrees and don't do anything with it, you're not actually saving any money with these smart thermostats. Now I've also calculated the kitchen. So let's say that we wanna drop the kitchen heating only three hours a day, maybe during when we're cooking and we're gonna drop the degrees from 20 to um, 16. So we have been a four degree drop. That's gonna to equate to seven pence savings per day, which is gonna to equate to 17 pounds, right? Remember, these are my calculations based on the cost of energy from myself. Now let's pick the whole house. So if we have a smart thermostat, the main difference between a smart thermostat and a normal thermostat is that we can do things like geolocation. So based on if people are in the home or not, we can turn the heating off, uh, right? So let's say that during these core heating hours, and in those two hours, we drop by four degrees. That would equate to a saving of 30 pence per day. So a whole season would be 70 pounds. Now, if you're thinking about buying an S thermostat, I haven't checked the latest prices, is there are normally around 150, if not 200 pounds. So you can already think that, hey, hold on, if I'm actually gonna buy this smart thermostat and I'm gonna be doing this, then it will take me you know, a couple of years to get your money back. So you're not really saving money that much. Well, what if the cost of gas ramps up? So we got uh, our existing cost of gas. So let me just change this to 0.05. And you can see that that's from 70 pounds jumped up to 92 pounds and the actual single saving of the room gone from 50 I think to 66. So this is giving you an idea. Now you can also change other things and say well you know what during these core heating hours I'm really you know I'm out maybe four to five hours a day so I ramped that up to five hours and boom your number gone to 230 pounds and that actually makes sense for you to buy a thermostat set up geolocation and you can do that with any smart home really system that you actually purchase. So please do not believe the claims that you read on certain websites. If you don't actually use the smart automations that come with these valves or thermostats, you're not gonna make any saving compared to just having normal thermostatic valves. The obvious message is yes, you can save money and also help the environment by reducing that thermostat down but that's always gonna go against your discomfort. And there's no way to get around that. If you wanna save money, you're gonna to have to drop the thermostat. The thing I'm saying with this video is, drop it only in the rooms that you're not using. So you could be smart with how you do this and you can make it as complex as possible. If you wanna get access to this calculator, I'm gonna give this away for free. Just like this video and comment in the section down below requesting it. Subscribe to the channel to actually get the community post notification when it actually happens. I'm gonna now leave you with this video over here which is giving you a great overview of how you can use scripts in Home Assistant to actually start learning how to automate and how to do all these fancy stuff. This was Joe from Smart Makers. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.